Welcome everyone to the next episode of the Hearts Road to Recovery Football Manager 2014 series and in this episode we've got the League Cup semi-final against Celtic at Hamden. Uh, in the news, I, th- yeah, I won the January Manager of the Month award and in good news we've got our transfer embargo lifted so when it comes to the summer transfer window we can now actually buy and sell some players. If you want to look at our results, we've won 3-1 against Partick Thistle Drew 2 all against Motherwell, 1 2 1 against St Johnston, lost 1 0 against Ross County, and we beat St Mary 1 0 with our youth team basically playing because I went to rest some players for the Celtic game in this semi final. And obviously, I really want to win this match, but I know it's going to be tough, a tough ask as well. And I'm going to take off Stevenson because he's only on 89% conditioning, and we'll use Patterson there. Anyway, right, moving into the game now. Once it loads, it should be a really soft game, although I, I wonder what Celtic seem to be lined up with a weaker team than they could field, which is good for us, a mistake by them. Um, just give our fans a good performance is what I, ask, is what I want to ask from our team. And Holt seemed motivated, everyone else like, listened keenly, didn't notice anything specific or seemed deep in thought and listened passionately. Right. We need to avoid conceding an early goal and we need to get the first goal. Make it a lot better for ourselves if we can do that. Of course that will be difficult though. Since we're against Celtic. Really need to try and restrain the amount of shots they can get. And we need to make sure that we can actually get some shots ourselves. We've only got one, not even on target of course. Anyway, since I said that we've got a few more. And as Scott Brown has been sent off, well, what do you know? We've actually got something massively working in our favour here. If we can't win this now, I'll be disappointed because Brown's just been sent off. We will have a massive advantage to our, uh, for us now. We should have a man open every time we're on the ball. Anyway, Scott Brown's sent off. We need to make sure we don't get anyone sent off and we need to take advantage of that. Hopefully we'll be able to do that. In the second half, Celtic have been the better side. It said, "Well, they shouldn't be now. They've got someone sent off. I'll tell the players. I'm pleased with how things are going. Keep it up, and hopefully, hopefully we can get the lead and win this. Now that Scott Brown's been sent off, that's great for us. Anyway, let's see what happens in the second half. I think Billy King might have to come off. He's, if he doesn't improve as well, he's just got his conditioning down. I'll take him off." 55% condition, that's not good enough. He could get injured on that, so I'll bring on Smith and we'll use him there. Anyway, David Smith, can't we say there's a lot more to come from you and I believe you've got what it takes. You seemed deep in thought. Right, we really need to win this now that Scott Brown's been set off. I can't emphasise that enough. Making tactical changes. Looking like a quite a close game, although Celtic have had a lot more shots, even with Scott Brown being sent off. Anyway. If we can just hold out here and get a goal, that would be fantastic. Stevenson scores, yes. Or was that Patterson, sorry. Right, now I'm sorry for this, but I'm going to be... Wasting time and being really defensive here. Stick to positions. Team possession, shorter passing. Uh, clear ball to flanks. Drill the crosses. Run at the defense. Uh, no, we won't do that. Exploit the flanks. Play narrower. Now we can't have that as well. Use tire marking and be more disciplined. Okay. Got contained vending and we should be very rigid. And now I'm going to do something even more d- defensive. I'm basically parking the bus here because I'm worried that Celtic can get a equaliser. They could get an equaliser. I'll bring King off, I think. Adam King. Well, first I'll make him into a centre back and bring on Gordon. Then I'll move Hamill to right holding mid. 
Spring Hill down to left will be mid. Walker to right mid and Smith to left left mid. And then I think I'll take Holt off for Robinson. And Robinson can be Oops, I'll need to go over to here to do it. He's best oh my god, he's not best at anything. But I will make him a ball winning midfielder. Defend. I also have him to defend. Right. So now we really want to just be not conceding basically. Can I say there's a lot to come from you? I'll just say that to Robinson as well. I have faith in you, I'll say that. Right. We need to hold out now. It's 1 0 to us. We've got the man advantage and we're parking the bus to try and preserve our one goal advantage now that Patterson's given us that lead. Good decision to start him over Stevenson this game because Stevenson was on lower, lower stamina. Anyway, let's have a look at the scroll now. Smith to Walker and Walker passed it to Steve, uh, Patterson. He's completely unmarked and he finishes that. No problem. Seventh goal of the season, not bad because I've been using him to come off the bench in most games. Anyway, now the only bad thing is we won't have any experience with this type of playing style so the players won't be comfortable with it but as long as they can hold on it'll be all good oh what's this oh yes we made it 2-0 that's it it's got to be all over now we've got to win this surely I'll keep us in the part of the bus tactic just to try and make sure look at that terrible defending no one came to him and he had an easy goal easy shot on goal sorry miles of space ahead of him to shoot Still, he did well to finish it, I guess. Anyway, it looks like that's going to be it all over. A 2-0 win against Celtic in the Scottish League Cup semi-final. And we are now into the final. That is brilliant. Let's have a look at this. I'll passionately say I'm very pleased with the result in your performance. Right. If you enjoyed that episode, please leave a like. It was a great result. And leave a comment if you have anything to add. And don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time.